So apparently my childhood is dying a slow, painful, agonizing death. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, intro. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. And you two, please don't clap this vid. Cause these people are killing my inner kid. Emotional damage. Hey, what is good guys? It is your boy, Jason JV. Saying welcome to another reaction vidya. And yes, yes, y'all. Uh, my man Wee Scheme, shout out to the homie Wee Scheme, by the way, has put out a video in regards to this whole, um, how can I say this, um, certain members of the cast of that 70s show, um, scandal, I don't know if it's necessarily a scandal, um, but apparently there is some controversy, I think that's the better word for it, some controversy going on. Uh, amongst some of the cast of that 70s show uh, Danny Masterson if for those of you who haven't been um, those of you who don't know if you haven't been following uh, the news as to what's been going on with him <clears throat> apparently dude was uh, convicted of um, some female abuse charges what yeah and apparently Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis um, they're facing all kinds of backlash because they, they, I guess they wrote some letters in support of Masterson, even though it's been proven that he is, uh, anything but innocent. Um, and my man scheme here is about to give his take and I can't wait to get into this one. I'm sure y'all can't either. Hence why you're here. So without further ado, like to hear here. What happens when you give a bunch of deranged narcissists a ton of money and attention? Hollywood! On today's never-ending episode... A.K.A. Hollyweird! Which, by the way, don't forget to check out my song, Say Goodbye to Hollyweird, if you haven't already. Because your boy done discovered some revelations about a certain rap artist, a certain rap god, if you will, that uh, y'all can find uh, very, very disturbing. Anyway of what the crap is going on in Hollywood right now. If you missed it, one of the stars from that 70s show was just convicted of naughty, naughty things. I'm gonna grape you in the mouth! And unfortunately, that in and of itself really isn't that much of a story. Someone from Hollywood abusing their power for sexual jollies. Bruh, he had to bring, he had to bring in the Bill Cosby picture. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh because it's really not a laughing matter, but... I mean, dog, I, I, I for one am glad to see that these Hollywood elitists are finally getting what they deserve. They're finally being brought to justice, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I won't be able to um, watch that 70s show again, I guess, because every time I see Hyde, emotional damage. I can't tell you just how badly I want to make that dude feel like he should run and hide. I'm just saying. Anyway. It's not that unusual, but the twist in this story came from an apology. It's not, it's not that unusual to be loved by anyone. Apology video from Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher, which was an apology video that made YouTuber apologies like Logan Paul's apology. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Feel genuine and human by comparison. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim. Yeah. Oh yeah, you de y'all definitely making um, Logan Paul look real, real um, sincere with his apology. Genuine and human by comparison. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim. Shut up, Meg. Now <laughs> he brought in the Family Guy clip. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, if, if ever there was a time you want to tell Meg to shut up. This is definitely one of them. <laughs> Bruh, 
let's go. What are they apologizing for? Well, apparently, when they realized their old boy was about to get served a heavy-handed fist of justice and a guilty verdict, they were asked to write character letters. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years. Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. So that the judge might be more lenient with the sentencing. This is not an uncommon practice, but the context in which Mila and Ashton talk about it is very strange. Not necessarily the context. Yeah, see, look, now, okay, if the family asked you to, uh, you know, send, write, write some letters, you know, in um, defending your, your, your boy, okay, I can understand that. I'm not saying I agree or disagree with it. I'm just saying I can understand that. But the way that, that scheme and schemes about to get into it, but the way that they explained it, it looks very suspect, which I don't agree with at all. It's just the way they go about it. Yeah. It feels like they were saying, we thought only the judge would see this our bad. They were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to say that part out loud, Ashton, because, like I said, man, that makes you look all kinds of suspect. We didn't know other people would know we said this. Now mm -hmm. I'm not going to pretend to know all the details of this case, because I tried to look into it, and I couldn't find any actual evidence of the crime. It was just testimony versus testimony. The accuser said that he did it. The accused said that he didn't. Now, based on what people close to the case are saying, I get the impression there was a lot of evidence, more than anecdotal or testimony evidence, which is why pretty much everyone knew where the conviction was going. Kind of like... Which basically what, what Scheme is getting at is that there's people speaking out against uh, Danny and um, there's witnesses, uh, apparently witnesses um, that are also coming forward and are speaking out against uh, Danny. So it's basically his word against theirs. And you know how the court of law uh, works when it comes to the whole he said, she said, if you got... More saying one thing versus one saying the other, they're going to go with the majority because odds are the majority is telling the truth. Unfortunately, that's just, that's how it works. Like the Bill Cosby case, I don't know if it's toxicology evidence or physical evidence or documents from the time. I think Scientology is involved here in an alleged cover-up, and a lot of those documents are from that time period. So from my understanding, there is a lot of evidence in this case, even though I can't really find it. Maybe it's come out and I'm too dumb to find it, or it's just being withheld for now. But it seems like a case where, yeah, this guy did it, everyone basically knows he did it, it's just... And he's not wrong. Uh, and, uh, you know what's funny? Um, and I don't mean this in the comical sense. I mean this in like a, you know, just just kind of an odd series of events, but uh, or just something that I just I just noticed. The only one, or really not the only one, but I, I've noticed that there was no letters written by Wilmer Valderrama who played Fez. There was no letters written by Topher Grace, you know what I'm saying, who was foreman. And I would say so far, those are the two smartest ones from that cast to not say anything, you know, because, I mean, and I don't know if, if, if that makes them look bad or look good, but I think because of the backlash that Ashton and Mila are facing, I think those two probably thought, you know what, probably best we don't say anything, so, you know, we'll just we'll just stay out of it. Um, I am curious to see, um, should they ever decide to come forward and speak up, you know, what did they see? What do they know? Because even though it's wise for them to not say anything at all, it's still, I still can't help but be a little sus towards them as well. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. It's about proving it for the formality. That's the way that this case has been presented, though. And I take that with a grain of salt because I don't trust the judicial system, nor do I trust mainstream media. So if And he is right to uh, feel that way because I agree with that wholeheartedly. Anyone out there knows more details on the actual evidence of the case, feel free to comment it below because I am curious if that information's out there. Because I don't want to just take the word of what I'm hearing that this is a pretty open and closed case without seeing it for myself. Because, you know, the day I start trusting mainstream media and or the justice system of the United States is the day that I've started to become a lot dumber than I'd like to be. Anyway, the re- <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Oh, man. Because, I mean...
how often does the mainstream media lie to us? Are you serious? I would go as far as to say probably quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, the judicial system, probably one of the most broken systems, you know what I'm saying? If not the most broken system in this country of ours. But of course, that's just, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. The reason I'm bringing all of that up at all is because the way Mila and Ashton approached this apology wasn't through the lens of the verdict was wrong. No, they're coming at this like everyone else that, yep, he sure did it. But you know what? He's a good guy. The letters were not written to question. Which is probably the, the greatest oxymoron of all time. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, he, he did it, but he's still a good guy. Right. Sure. Weirdos the legitimacy of the judicial system shut up meg <laughs> i do agree with these family guy clips shut up meg let's go peter i can't believe for a minute that they believe that here's my thought i'm you know I i'm curious now if if uh seth mcfarland continues family guy will he replace mila kunis with the girl that originally played Meg in the in the newer seasons, in the newer episodes. I mean, talk about coming full circle. You know what I mean? Bruh. I mean, and you can't say Mila wouldn't, doesn't deserve to be replaced on there. I mean, I'm just saying, man. Either that or just cancel Family Guy altogether. Because Mila alone, by her actions, would, would, would hurt that show immensely. Pretty sure that the two of them think that old boy didn't do it. That's why they wrote these character letters. But they figured if they said in this apology video that they don't think he did it, then it makes them look bad because they're questioning the justice system. They're yep. questioning the accusers, the, the victims, and they don't want to be seen as people who are questioning. Since they're big proponents of the Me Too and Believe Women kind of movements, wouldn't be a good look at them to say, you know what? You got this one wrong. Those ladies were lying. And the and, uh, yeah, it would be suspect for them to go against it because supposedly, uh, word got out that, keep in mind, Mila Kunis, when she first started out on that 70s show, she was 14 years of age. She had her first on-screen kiss with, with Ashton Kutcher, who was 21 years old at the time. Ashton Kutcher is seven years older than Mila Kunis. So... And if you can't see what is wrong with that picture, well, then God help you. I mean, and word got out that supposedly, allegedly, because it has yet to be confirmed, supposedly some backstage, um, some backstage um, abuse was happening that, that, that involved Mila Kunis. So... Yeah, it, it would definitely not be a good look for her to go against the whole Me Too movement. I'm just saying. Bruh. Justice system has failed. But I posit this, Mila and Ashton. I think that would have been a better look than saying, oh yeah, he did it. But he's a pretty swell guy. Older brother figure, a role model. He kept me off drugs. Yeah, I think going against the results, you know what I'm saying? And would, would have did a better job in just trying to make Danny try to look like a good guy or whatever. To say that you agree with the with the sentencing, you agree with the results, and, but still trying to paint him as this this, this angel. Yeah, that that's just, that's just all kinds of stupid. That's what she said. Drugs. Wow, the convicted rapist told you to say no to drugs. Except For real? Let me go back. A good look at them to say, you know what? You got this one wrong. Those ladies were lying and the justice system has failed. But I posit this, Mila and Ashton. I think that would have been a better look than yep. saying, oh yeah, he did it. But he's a pretty swell guy. Older brother figure, a role model. He kept me off drugs. Wow. The convicted rapist told you to say no to drugs. Except for the drugs. Make, make that make sense. 
that he apparently gave to his victims. I don't even have to say allegedly anymore since he was convicted of it. I think that's really? how that works. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong on this, but I just think it's a better look to say the justice system got it wrong and these ladies were false accusers. That's why we wrote these character letters to try a Hail Mary effort to sway the judge at least into a lighter sentence for this crime that he clearly didn't commit. All of that seems like it would have been a, a more fair play to make. It still would have gotten a lot of backlash. You know, the fact that they wrote these character letters at all. It's still going to receive the hammer of social justice of what the hell are you doing supporting a now convicted rapist? Yeah. But at least doesn't that just give you the feeling of, well, hey, they think that the dude's innocent. So it makes sense that they do this, but not when you say, oh yeah, he was guilty. We're backing the victims and the judge on this. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. Shut up, Meg. I don't know, man. That's... <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, Dan, tell Meg, shut up. Let's go. Some Hollywood level thinking right there. The amount of delusional narcissism that goes unchecked required for you to think that you could have your cake and eat it too with the... Oh yeah, you know how these celebs are, man. They think they can have their way no matter what. No matter how hard of a crime they, they commit. They're gonna be like, ah, you know, they're, they're, they're gonna let us go anyway. Why? Because we're, we're, we're our rich and we're famous. Yeah, not 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 happening. Not happening. I mean, obviously, it didn't happen for for uh, Danny Masterson. It didn't happen for Bill Cosby. So uh, yeah, I'm just saying. The virtue signaling of this apology is wild. If you want to take a break from stupid Hollywood nonsense, you should check out my band. After the tone, we make excellent music that you might like. I like. This apology contains one, supporting a now convicted rapist as a good dude. Two, try to take the virtuous road of saying, but we support the victims and justice being served. So you're trying to back your boy who you now know is a convicted rapist and and you're also trying to trying to back the victims and the, and the, and the judge. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bruh. Right. You're, you're trying to play all sides, and you can't do that. It, it, this ain't Burger King. You, you can't have it your way. I'm just saying. Heart goes out to every single person who's ever oh, been God. a victim. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Because that... Thank you, Lois. That's what good Hollywood liberals do. Always believe the accusers. And then just completely being blind to the hypocrisy of saying that you believe the accusers and the justice system, but you want to defend the person that did the thing as a good person. It's, it's hard to wrap your brain around if you're a sane person outside of Hollywood. But they literally were just trying to get the virtue points from every angle while doing shady stuff behind the scenes that they thought just the judge would see. Now, I've always been in the unpopular crowd. I've never really liked Ashton Kutcher or Mila Kunis, aside from thinking that Mila was hot in that one movie, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And Ashton Kutcher's always annoyed me. And they, like, only bathe once a week. Now, you know what's sad? Um, <clears throat> I did actually like them in, like I said, that 70s show. I, I did enjoy watching that 70s show. Now, again, I can't go back and watch it no more because I'm going to be reminded of all this crap. And, uh, I, I, and, I, and I love Mila in... Um, in the uh, Ted movies as well, you know what I mean? And as well as her being in Family Guy. But now when I watch Family Guy, you know what I'm saying? I hear her voice. Every time I hear her voice, I'm going to want one of the characters to, to keep telling her, shut up, Meg. I mean, uh, and I think she should be uh, replaced with the original voice actress who, who, who voiced Meg to begin with in, in like the first two seasons. Bruh. Bruh. And then I want Stewie to make a joke about that too. You know, it's kind of sad that we lost, you know, a really solid. It's kind of sad that Meg, you know, voice has changed again. But hey, I like this new voice. It's making a comeback. Or something like that. I don't know. I can't do. You blew it. I, I, I can't come up with a great Family Guy type joke on the top of my head right now. Because I'm so pissed off with this whole situation. And I like Ashton Kutcher in that the Dude Where's My Car movie. I thought he was funny in that. But now it's like I can't even watch that shit no more. Sorry, Sean William Scott. I know you were in that movie, too. But then, ah, uh, man. Ugh. Hello, darkness, my old friend.
week. And that's always been weird to me. And everyone's always giving me crap. Well, ha! When I look at people, I go, there's something wrong with those people. I'll tell you what. My radar is very rarely off. In my opinion, I think there's something wrong with all these people that are involved in this Scientology nonsense. I mean... Tom Cruise, if I were you, i separate myself from that. Unless you're, you're some kind of weirdo, too. In which case, we got a problem then, Maverick. I'm just saying. And once again, pat myself on the back. I told you that these two fucks were weirdos. <laughs> now the rest of the world gets to agree with me. Whatever your boy... I know I do! <laughs> Scheme says that actor or famous person, they seem like they got an energy that's not good. You could take that to the bank. So until next time, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for making fun of all of the Hollywood celebrities and their insanity and the fact that Hollywood's quality is constantly spiraling down. Bye! Facts. Facts, he's not wrong. So definitely gotta like this video for the homie Wee Scheme out of love and support because I definitely like this video. You know, again, it is slowly but surely killing my childhood. Speaking of slowly but surely killing my childhood, and again, as a reminder, don't forget to check out my song Say Goodbye to Holly Weird where I call out a certain rap god for also being a weird Holly weirdo. You know what I'm saying? Being a Holly weirdo fucktard. Um, man. <clears throat> I don't know what it is with these celeb types. They can just do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? But that's what happens when, you, when like Scheme said, you give them a bunch of money. You know what I mean? And a bunch of free time. But anyway. All right, y'all know the deal. Let me know where y'all y'all stand on all this. You know what I'm saying? Um, pre I pretty much made, made my point clear. I stand with Scheme on this one. <clears throat> totally agree with him on this one. And uh, yeah. And if y'all... Do too. Y'all want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. Y'all know to do that link for the original video. Go show my man Wee Scheme some love. Show him that support. You know what I'm saying? Let him know that your boy Jason JV done sent you. Sure he'll, he would appreciate that, as would I. And don't forget, if you're feeling the vibes here, like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Do all the YouTube thank things to support your boy. Don't forget to check out, of course, the merch store. Shout out to everyone that's been subscribing, been supporting, watching the videos, and shout out to everyone that's been buying the merch as well. Very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, till the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason? JV. What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bad Ross. What happened to the next new world? What's up, JV? What's up, JV? What's up, JV? So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!